in today's video, we'll be showcasing this house. It's actually a renovation project that was done uh, with the team that you can see here. I'm Priscilla Mudoni. Priscilla Mudoni is the owner of this house. I'm Fidelis Maiba, a quantity surveyor and a construction manager. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Felicita Mukuhe, a professional realtor and I'm also a construction manager. Okay, what makes this uh, project unique is that it's a renovation project. Priscilla wanted to extend her house to make it uh, slightly bigger from the original. And so to do that, she incorporated precast panels to make her house a hybrid structure. That is, uh, initially it was built using stone blocks, uh, but the extension was done using precast panels. So we learned from her and also from Batir consultants to explain to us how the renovation project started and how it was completed successfully. So Priscilla, asante kwa kutukaribisha kwa nyumba yako. Naona ulikuwa unataka kufanya extension project. Yeah, ni nini ilikufanya ukachagua kutumia precast kama material ya kuongeza nyumba? Sababu tulionesha picha na kideli. Alafu Mr. Nangu alikuwa anafanya kazi na mama yake akatuntroduce kwa yeye na akakuja aka tukamwambia tukampatia kazi saidi tuliona picha ya hiyo nyumba tukaipenda na sasa watu wengi wanapenda hii nyumba na wanasema wanataka kujengewa kama hii yeah. yeah. okay sasa uh, msichana wako yuko karibu ama yuko raibuni ule anafanya hii kazi anakaa jema lakini ule alitulete hii picha yeah. anakaa waidhaka yeah. nafanya kazi huko okay. mm. so ni wasichana wako ndio waliku, waliku, walikufanya ukaelewa mambo ya prika yeah, mambo ya prika yeah. yeah. mm. okay so fidel to, to do now the renovation project yeah. how many panels were needed and how did you actually incorporate it with the old structure okay the first thing we were just doing the renovations as well as the the perimeter wall one side show she had already done the three sides so we were only remaining with the one side so the total number of panels were around 60 to 70 in, including the h beams because the renovations so it was not a big it was not so big we were extending the sitting room and the kitchen area mm -hmm. so the other areas we were just renovating with tiles paintwork and everything but the major extensions were just the few areas yeah. okay uh what is the size of this plot this is a it's like a 40 by 80. See, I just think a 50 by 100. Oh, okay. So you only fenced uh, on one side of the yeah, plot. We fenced one side of the plot. Yeah. 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 Okay. For the extension, mm -hmm. what uh, parts of the house were extended? Yeah. We were extending the sitting room area because her daughter, the one who, who who is in Germany, she wants to come with her family. So they saw that the, the, the room was small, so they decided with Shosh and the other daughter to extend the sitting room. So the major project is the sitting room, which is now big, mm. and the kitchen area, the storage, the pantry. They wanted a big pantry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the, do you know the plinth area of the house? Uh, it's a three-bedroom house. Mm -hmm. May, maybe Normally, most three bedrooms are 100 to 120 square area. Oh. So it starts with that that square area we are work, it was here. Okay. Yeah. So like with the extension, it was slight. We just added a, a slight uh, yeah. area for the entire we, house. We added like ten to fifteen square meter because the the, the main house the, the sitting room is we added ten square area, then the storage area we added like three square area. So it's like fifteen square area addition. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh for for Priscilla, he muda wa mjengo umeka kama muda gani? I need two weeks. Umefurishwa na hiyo haraka. Haraka sana nimefurahi sana. Sababu next week mimi naingia kwa nyumba yangu. Tumeiona tumependezwa na vile imetokea. Ulikuwa unataka nyumba ifanywe renovation yote kutoka vile ilikuwa mwanzoni. Nilitaka sababu saidi kulinyesha ili haribu ties upande moja na wolo upande moja. Kwa hivyo vile Emily alisema itengenezwe akasema itengenezwe yote. Sababu hata hiyo, hiyo ties isinge kaa sana. Yes. Ingekua inatoa maji. Yeah. Yeah. Nyumba yako ni 
miaka ngapi sasa? Na miaka 20 hivi. So hiyo ku, kufanya renovation ni hadi kutoka ceiling kuna kitu ile imebaki kutoka kitambo ama kila kitu imebadilishwa? Kila kitu imebadilishwa. Yeah. Lakini beds tu kutoa ceilings uko kwa bed kwa hiyo zidumu zingine yeah. tulitoa tu ni sitting room na kitchen. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Atapa nje naona umekewa tiles nzuri. Yeah, kwa smart sana. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Now for Fidel for other clients uh, what would you tell them who are thinking about uh, doing some similar projects uh, like extension? Yeah. As he, as had Shosha said the extension is mainly a week or two just that we are doing even the fence and such so two weeks is enough for for an extension so if you have a room that nona nikadogo and you'd feel it to become a little bit bigger you can just contact us we come in two weeks we we do the whole renovations and you have a beautiful home like this yeah yeah uh what was the budget for the for the extension and also for the renovation uh in terms of uh the whole project including the fence was around 1.5 million so it, i i don't have the breakdown it is mm. the fence as well as the extensions including the the lightings the tiles the the paint works and even the ceiling the ceilings we did the tng they didn't want the normal ceiling boards so yeah. the, the the whole for cost, the ex- for the extension yeah for the extension mm-hmm. we did the tng ceiling and we have a good good number of lightings the the chandeliers so it came up to around 1.5 yeah yeah uh, apa watu wa joska wameonelea je mambo ya precast wana wanaipenda sana jana kulikuwa mama moja alikuwa anataka kuuza prop yake hapa yeah. hapa tu nyuma yangu na saidi aliletwa na neighbor akasema hatauza yeah. <laughs> hatauza <laughs> walikuja na bwana yake yeah. na wakaingia hapa wakaniuliza nikaba mkitaka nyinyi mkuje nimpatie mtu ule anafanya ikazi Mm. akasema hata uza process tatengeneza kama hii. Okay. Mm. So watu wamependezwa na nayo kabisa. Kabisa. Huyu nayo na my neighbor nimemwaga hii mchaka hapo. Alikuja akaona akasema anataka kuwekewa fence kama ile. For Felicita, how long how was the construction process like in those two weeks? Okay, the two weeks were quite easy uh, and a bit challenging also due to the time difference especially during the choice you know so we give the client the opportunity to decide what he or she wants to do with the with the house especially the finishes yeah. so we will take uh, photos of the tiles ask for the colors but all in all it was a wonderful journey and uh, Emily gave me the chance to make some decisions by myself she trusted uh, my my taste Mm-hmm. that is one thing I, w- i will really appreciate she didn't doubt it and she's very happy the colors everything yeah yes and it was an awesome journey and shosho i used to come in the morning and tell her shosho ni mwangu hotel zina eko nyumba mzima lazima uhame she was very cooperative alikasema ni sawa kesho utapata kuna kitu kwa nyumba so she was very cooperative and we really worked well with her mm. yes okay Looking around I can see that the soil is black cotton soil. So Fidel how did you deal with, with the excavation of the black cotton soil? Okay. With with cotton we usually deal we usually measure the the depth of cotton before we make a decision because if the depth is less than 3 feet, 3 feet is like a meter, we usually do the normal excavation. We remove the cotton and backfill with marram. If it is more deeper that's when we do the suspended. Mm. So with show sh- space, space here it was less than 3 feet so we decided to do the actual excavation using uh, an excavator we removed the whole cotton in this area then we backfilled with uh, marram hmm. that's when we continued with our foundation so yeah. the front area we removed the, all the cotton that was there we've had it from priscilla and from uh, mr and mrs maiba from batir consultants priscilla has been able to tell us her experience Uh, of this extension project i think this is something she w- she wanted to achieve for a very long time remember her house is 20 years old and seeing it uh, like this it it, al- it almost feels brand new yeah. right unasikia ni kama nyumba ni mpya ni mpya kabisa so 
if you have a similar project or a similar idea, you wanted to improve your house after building it many, many years back, it's possible. You can see she integrated precast panels into a newly extended house. So it's possible. Just know it's possible. You can use the newer alternative building technologies. And uh, like here, we use the precast panels. About a week later, after doing uh, the interview with Priscilla back at her home in Joska, we had a conversation with one of her daughters. She's called Emily and she's based in Germany. She wanted to share her side of the story about the extension project and why it mattered so much to her. We recorded a Zoom call, so enjoy that conversation. She's coming up right now. Yes, I met uh, Fidel through my sister. And uh, my sister had seen his house, which he had done also. So I yeah. got very interested. And then he came to see my mother's uh, house in Joska. And mm -hmm. the way he just explained it, I was really interested. I've never seen those things before, but through him, I got to know that Unaza Ukadenga Nyumba, you know? Yeah. And, uh, secondly, why I wanted to renovate the house of my mother, she had so many grandchildren. Kadogo. So now we wanted to make it bigger. Yeah, yeah. And now we are very, very happy, and I can advise anybody to use Fidel. It is very efficient, very quick, and very affordable and very nice. Mm -hmm. And you can never be uh, frustrated using Fidel, and you can trust him 100%. I trusted him all the way from here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. I'm really, really happy and very proud of having to meet him and having to know about crickets. I never knew that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, your mom was also very happy when, mm -hmm. when we did the, the interview. She was very yeah. happy with the speed and how your house turned out to be. Apart from doing the precast, you also wanted yeah. to do like a full house a renovation? No, I, I just planned for one room. Okay. And then I saw the efficiency and the super work of Fidel. Then I just decided automatically, let's just do the whole house. Actually, our our main reason was just the one next one room there outside. Yeah. But then how he mm -hmm. works is efficient, good work. And then he got really and then he's so quick. You can trust him, you can rely on him. This is what gave me the motivation to go on and on and on. Yeah. And now we have the Thank whole house in the vision. Okay. But, and I can uh, tell you from here, you can trust him. Believe me, I trusted him blindly. And I was never disappointed. Never. Not even one day. Yes. Mm. Hmm? And how long did the project take? Did and they... even a three... yeah, he told us three weeks. And by the way, before we finish with Yapili, it was already finished. Yeah. He had taken but before we went to, for, to the three weeks, the two weeks alone, it was already finished. Yeah, we had already finished. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you handling yes. the communication, Fidel, with uh, Emily? Uh, okay, the, the first time we met with Emily at her place in Joska, the, she was with her husband. Her husband was explaining everything that he wanted the, the, the room to be expanded. And he's German. So... The the language by no, no Emily was our translator. He <laughs> yeah. he was talking in German. Then Emily now she has to know she had to 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 know construction co conversations because now she had to trans co, to to translate from German to English. But the communication was okay. I was dealing with Emily in terms of the instructions because now I didn't know German. So, but everything went so smoothly. The the husband explained to me everything that he wanted to be renovated. Then we we got into good com communication with Emily. Then uh, we kick started the project. I designed the project. I shared the drawing, and she was okay with the drawing. Then uh, we I gave her the budget. Then we were okay with the with the budget. Yeah. Okay. Talking about the budget, Emily. Uh, was it was your project within uh, the, your scope or did, did it exceed? No, it never exceeded. That's why I that's why I even let him do the rest. Okay. Well, they, actually, we were even shocked. We were expecting more. So when I when we <laughs> he gave us the budget, we were so so happy that my husband told me, "Why don't you just do the rest of the house?" 
Yeah. And that's how it came to us that we did the rest. Okay. Yeah. Yani, Fidel is very affordable and you can trust him and you can rely on him. And yes. my husband is here. He's telling me to tell you that he works to the point. He's working, his work is excellent. Wow. Tell him to him for us. So, <laughs> he's my good friend. No, we shall send, send yeah, the he's coming. Yeah, he's yeah, he's coming. He just he's not looking the part. He's also hello. Ah, hello. Yes. Hello. hello. <laughs> So welcome, welcome. Say, uh, Fidel's work is excellent, and that's why we just decided to do the whole work. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Uh, when are you coming uh, to see the house? Uh, when are you planning to come, Emily? We were supposed to come this month, but uh, my daughter, our daughter got something in between. We are going to come in October on the 9th. Yeah. Uh, the 9th to land on the home. Okay. We, can we, and, cannot and, and, we cannot wait. We are so excited. We cannot even wait. But now we have to be there for our daughter, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's why we have just postponed. But actually, we were supposed to be traveling on the 24th. Now, you know, we got married. We have to be there with the in laws and all those things. Okay. Yeah. I will say thank you very much, uh, Emily and, and family, your sister, your big sister, and your mother for giving us the job. And I hope we did a good job <laughs> doing the renovations. Yeah, thank you very much for the job. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'd like to thank you, uh, Emily, and uh, your husband for joining uh, in this uh, brief interview, and also for taking uh, taking a chance with Precast and seeing how your house has turned out to be. Your mom, uh, like I said before, was uh, very happy with how the house turned out to be, and she really appreciates what you did for her. So, and I'd also like to thank you for trusting Fidel. And as you can see, Fidel, uh, another client who has uh, good remarks for your job. So we're all thank grateful. You. And this also promotes uh, precast technology adoption in Kenya. Yeah. So guys, uh, thanks, for, mm -hmm. yeah, thanks for watching uh, this, uh, this video. Uh, we shall see you in the next project. Okay. Thank you so much for inviting us also. God bless you all. Yes. And thank you, thank you much, much to Fidel. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.